Hello all and welcome back to some more Spelunky 2. It has been a hot minute since I've done this mainly because, uh, well, I haven't been able to do much mod stuff. In fact, you can see in the top right now it says uh, script mods are currently unavailable. Uh, I need to wait for a future version to get script mods and other mods working again. Uh, but right now they do at least have texture mods working in the latest update of Spelunky, so I'm very happy about that, which means I can play as Tina. <laughs> yeah, because Seth is clearly Tina. Um... But yeah, uh, no, so like, things like Play Lunky, things like a lot of the script type things, I ha I've usually been doing like mod showcase type style things with, I don't know if that's the right word, uh, but a lot of those aren't going to be working right now, so I'm happy to just stick around with, you know, texture mods and just play regular old Spelunky. You know, even though I've been kind of in the realm of doing a whole lot of mod stuff recently, Regular Rust Blunky is pretty dope, not gonna lie. Uh, sorry, I had a, a bit of a issue with Streamlabs OBS right now, uh, and I, I thought it was gonna be longer of an issue than it wound up being, uh, so I took care of it. Uh, hopefully it's not an issue, and hopefully I recorded this thing correctly. Um, but, as you can see, I, I do have a few new texture mods. The, the Zelda mod that I've been playing Jump Lunky with, I'm playing with this, so I'm guessing that's the Ghost Jar. Um, but yeah, look, a lot of the, a lot of the emeralds and stuff are in fact rubies. Um, but yeah, I it, it's been just a while. I mean, I know that when mods stopped working just in general, uh, I did a video complete. Hello? Oh, this is shaping up to be a good run already. Okay. Yeah, I remember doing a, a run like completely vanilla back when there weren't any mods available. And now that I have my texture mods back, might as well do another kind of regular run with vanilla mods back. Nice that they show the number of bombs on this thing. I freeze. That's a freeze ray. Oh, it's the the ice rod. Well, I don't want to risk this run by accidentally like dying with this jetpack. Like if you have a jetpack, you know it's gonna be a good run. So dying uh, just for some like bombs and stuff. I don't really need to do that. There'll be more opportunities for bombs in the future. So uh, better safe than sorry. I'll put a bomb there because I know I can't. Ooh, I have a jetpack and a collie altar right here. So climbing gloves too. Oh my goodness. I think those are climbing gloves, right? Yeah, those are climbing gloves. Uh, this is, everything's going pretty well right now. Look, this is, this is solid. Um, I did download a mod that I think got applied underneath the Zelda mod on accident. Uh, it's, it turns all the skeletons into sands from Undertale and Deltarune. I've not yet played Deltarune Chapter 2. I, I know I need to. I really want to. I think when I do that, it's not going to be on stream. It's going to be a private thing. Because uh, I just, I feel like that's something that should be, you know, done on my own. Um, but, ooh, okay, so we got another ray. Web gun right there. Uh, machete present. I don't really need any of this. I would like another collie altar. Another collie altar would be pretty dope, but I don't think we're going to, we're going to find that. Nope. We need that mole to not be alive, actually. That would also be pretty dope. Um... Yeah, let's just ignore everything right now. Uh, it is in the midst of allergy season for me, so you might notice I, I've been doing this a bit on, like, stream two and stuff, but, like, trying to clear my nostrils and whatnot. I live in Kansas. Like, this is this is allergy haven for me. So, yeah, there, I'm just, I'm not doing the, the best with my sniffly nose right now. Uh, so I apologize if that gets a little annoying, but... Sucks to suck. Not much I can really do about it. Like I, I could take Dayquil and Zizol and all the, all the other anti-allergy symptom medications and whatnot. But I, like, do I need to? Okay. Hi. Um. There we go. I don't remember that guy's name, but I am doing my, uh, my, uh, Hollow Knight playthrough right now. He was a fun boss to fight. I did enjoy engaging with him. Or. I hit the jump button. Okay, whatever. I come on. I'm taking stupid points of damage where I really don't need to be. <sighs> All right. That's how you can tell this is me playing Spelunky again. I'm dying in places that I really, really shouldn't be. <laughs> um, but yeah, we could do. We could easily do the quest line right now. Another Kali altar would be dope. If I if I get I think one dead sacrifice. I mean, there's. Ooh, actually, hold on. Let's do let's do you first. Yeah, might as well, because you're right here, and you can easily get, like, lit on fire. Let's do this, and I get my fucking Kapala right now. My blood jar. Ooh, yeah, look at this. I can I can easily restore health now. Look at- yay! Love that. I like how the jar actually looks like a Zelda jar, too. Like, I feel like that would have been one of the things I would have forgot to add if I were in charge of making this mod. But nope, uh, the people who made it did not forget it. I'll take it. I'll happily take it. No complaints at all. Hi, hired hand. Uh, nope. Hired Hand's gonna be a punk-ass motherfucker. 
uh, and burn in hell because he knew that I would sacrifice him to Kali. And he's like, nope, not doing that. Not letting, not letting sacrifices happen. And I can get the blood at least. Okay, yes, I can. Um, and get blood. Can I actually, you know, not hurt myself while trying to whip things? That would be that would be an important thing to do. Uh, but alas. Okay, let's just do. There we go. Nice. Come on. I need more blood. Blood is dope, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm at three. In theory, I am, I mean, I'm going to Vlad, so I could, in theory, get the infinite health trick. It depends. We'll see. Well, well I mean, I, I'm dumb. I did this the opposite order. I forgot. I, I thought I needed a key. Okay, that's fine. Key is here. This is where the key is. Stop doing damage to me when I, you shouldn't do damage to me. I feel like that shouldn't have given me damage there. All right, fine. Whatever. We'll take the key. We'll get out of here. Uh, things are okay. You know what? Wee bonk! I shouldn't have bonked you, and I'm glad I didn't. There we go. Boop, boop. There we go. Um, but yeah, we we're going to Vlad's. We're gonna get. I don't know if I would trade the jetpack for Vlad's cape. I genuinely don't know which is better. Like, Vlad's cape is helpful. It's good for blood. So I I can't do the infinite health trick without Vlad's cape. So I'd have to like temporarily trade it if I wanted to get the 99 health. But at the same time, I don't have to keep it permanently. I could just keep it temporarily, like only for a short period of time. So I don't I don't know what's fair. Okay, we, we need to get you cooked. Thank you. And I got some blood out of it too. I'll happily take that. Um, but I just I need as much health as I can right now. We'll go boop. Ooh, kitty! Speaking of health, I'll I'll happily take kitty's health. Um Hi cat. Boop. Okay, so we go down here. Let's just uh, lava there, but that's not good. Thankfully, it does not seem to be flowing right now, so I'll take it. I'll put the cat somewhere safe. Get this bat's blood. Huzzah. Just fall. Whee! There's not much lava down here because there wasn't much lava that destroyed. Rock dog. Why is this jar gray compared to the other jar? I'm confused. Okay, I need to wait for the rock dog to turn around because he can instantly kill me with one shot. Like seriously, if he if he breathes fire on me, I'm dead. Okay, come on. Nope, go go that way. Ah! Told you. I told you. I was scared, and it didn't work out. That is the downside of the jetpack or any other explosive. Come on. The the web caught me off guard. Uh, any other explosive thing. Uh, I probably should have just gone for the gone for the whatever it's called the Vlad's cape. So why was I even debating that? One of them can instantly get me killed, and the other just provides a movement buff that's slightly less movemental. Wait, hold on. Does the gray jar indicate they... No, okay. So I thought maybe the gray jar indicated it had, like, something alive in it, but that does not seem to be the case, so I don't know what's up. Do that. Okay. Hopefully Kobold does not die, but Kobold got pretty darn close to death there. Not okay with that. Uh, I just need to get this key to its proper location. I like how the, the the shield is now the Hylian shield. That's funny. Nope, no! Don't kill the lizard. Or the, the fucking uh, kobold. Okay, that's fine. Where is where's this key going? That's the big question. Boop. We'll just drop the key somewhere. Um, now you can see what happens on my face anytime I'm confused. I get confused very easily in this game. All the time. Um... Uh, Boop, do that. I don't have the the Kapala, so I shouldn't be like collecting blood or anything. Okay, key. Looks like it goes down there, so that's fine. Uh, I don't need any of these things, so I won't get any of those things. I almost killed the kobold with this key. Oh my god. I'm very clumsy today. It's been a hot minute, in case you can't tell. Uh, I have been playing Vanilla Spelunky a bit on my Switch, uh, and because I, I got free keys for both Splunky HD and Splunky 2 from Xanagear. And, like, pretty hyped about that. The, that was a pretty solid giveaway for sure. Um, like, guaranteed you're giving it to an already pretty dedicated Splunky fan. But, you know, it's nice to have it on the Switch. It's nice to be able to take it with me on the go and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, I, I got that in a, in a giveaway raffle hmm. for free. Because that's how... It was a it was a way to celebrate you know Splunky's uh, anniversary. Splunky two came out almost uh, slightly over a year ago now. Cause that's how that's how time works. It was the anniversary and now it's not anymore. But it, it was recently. That could have been really bad if I messed up. If there wasn't anything in that jar, <laughs> I would I would have to have like used a rope or something to get through this. Okay. Um, skeleton cookie is pretty dope. Uh, also, so is bombs. But I can't afford them. Teleporter. Uh. 
I can't afford the teleporter. We'll go skeleton key for now, because that's actually gonna be pretty helpful if we get to 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 Von Horzing. I'm okay with the skeleton key right now. Uh we'll go boop. Boop. Got some bombs. Heck yeah. Nice. Just destroy anything and everything all of the time. Uh there we go. Let's get one of these skulls just so we can get the Okay. What's his name again? Is it False Knight? I think I think it was False Knight, right? No! Damn it, messed up the timing there. All right, that's fine. We can deal with it. How far? He rolled a lot further than he should have. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill him legitimately to still make a profit off this, or I could just throw a bomb and not care about profiting. Yeah, there we go. I'm like, do I profit? No. Do I still get stuff though? Yes, I get to at least be done with this and leave and go to Volcana. Happily take that. You got seven health. I feel like, I don't know how I got this much health. I did not save that many damsels. All I'm saying, I do not feel like having this much health is justified right now. That's okay. Uh, Von Horsing is literally right below me. I don't even need this key. What am I doing? This key's completely useless. I have the skeleton key. I'm stupid. Ah! Okay. All right. That's fine. I can just ride a turkey to my death. Glad that I uh, got off before that happened. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. We've got boop, boop. Let's just climb and go places. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Do I want the hired hand? I don't think I want the hired hand. I do want the hired hand. There's a Kali altar. Hired hands plus Kali altars are always a good combo. As long as this hired hand doesn't die in the lava. Oh boy. Okay. Yep. That was scary. Um. Boop. Okay. Nice. Hi. Yes. You're gonna. You're gonna be a hired hand. Are you gonna do your job? You're gonna do it terribly. You're gonna take damage while trying to fight a bat. Uh. Granted. Why did the bat just freeze in place for a second? That's a new one. I haven't seen that glitch before. Also, these balls are uh, giving me giving me level two of jump lunky uh, memories right now. <laughs> That's not a good thing. Oh my goodness. I mean, jump lunky was great. I'm glad. I'm looking forward to being able to finish that soon once the mods allow it. But holy shit, <laughs> that level two was traumatic. <laughs> the Volcana level of jump lunky was insane. Okay, we have enough bombs to justify getting uh, both this turkey and the the hamster down there uh, safe. So let's go there. That's a good placement for that bomb. Love that. Love that placement right there. Boop, grabbed. Uh, we can snag this hamster. Hamster's going to go somewhere safe and definitely not die. Yep, there we go. Uh, that hamster was actually... It, they, they, were, they believed in Buddhism, so I... Granted, Buddhism isn't really a belief. Sorry, I'm taking world religions classes right now, so I'm kind of like constantly thinking about religions and stuff. Uh, that's that's what's going on in my life right now. How about you? What are you what are you doing? <laughs> um, you know, we we uh, recently finished talking about all the different types of like Hinduism and stuff, and now we're just now talking about Buddhism. I'm like, there's a lot of cool shit. Uh, who who knew that uh, religion can be so cool? Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, it's it's pretty neat. It's pretty interesting. You can see just how Spelunky honestly has a lot of religious influences. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, there's you know a ton of like gods and goddesses in this game, um, so that that's cool. Uh, but also like in addition to all the gods and goddesses there are, there's just like the the core concept of Spelunky. It's very that's a crossbow. I'm like there's I should not have gotten the actual bow here at the, like in a crate of all places. Yeah, the the actual bow should be somewhere like over here, I think. Um, there's the actual bow. I look. I'm still getting used to this texture pack. All right, <laughs> this uh, the the Zelda mods are pretty interesting still. So uh, we'll do that. But um, ooh, I'm gonna actually have to be careful with this one. Yep. That's this isn't the stupid jump, but it is a stupid jump. It's not the not the one that a lot of people struggle with. But it's the one that I struggle with. Just kidding. I I don't actually struggle. You saw me do it. Boop. Boop. For that, nice. Yep, that's enough distance for that. Okay, so what else do I want to do here? Let's just mine this way. Woo! Okay, I just I don't know what I want to do right now. I just want to get this. Ah, oh, come on! I thought I could crush that. There we go. Finally. Um, yeah. There, there's a lot of Hindu elements in Splunky of all things, which is strange because like I mean, obviously this game borrows from a ton of different religions. You know, the, there's the Olmec obviously from the Central Americas. Uh, there's you know, 
Uh, we've got Kali as a is a Hindu goddess. We have uh, Yama, who is the Eggplant King from or Eggplant King in this game, and the true final boss of the first Spelunky. And by first Spelunky, I mean Spelunky HD, not Spelunky. Ah, uh, was it Spelunky Classic? I don't know the secrets of Spelunky Classic actually. Either way, um, yeah, there there were a lot of religious influence basically all throughout the game. But the the core concept of this game, right? So we're at the moon. We're going through like basically seven different worlds. And once, like, the fun fact, the true, like, final goal of the Cosmic Ocean uh, is to die in the Cosmic Ocean at level 99 and reach, like, become a constellation. So when you really think about it, that's very similar to, like, the core elements of both Hinduism and Buddhism, uh, which is, you know, going through essentially, like, seven stages, uh, unlocking your seven chakras to reach enlightenment. Um, and, like, enlightenment is essentially just another word for being one with the universe. I'm like, there's a lot of cool shit, like, in Splunky. I don't know if, Derek, you intended for that to be, like, the case. If it was like, oh, this is definitely a perfect parallelism for uh, uh, Hinduism. And that's why, I, that's why he did these things. Or if he's just like, this is a cool mechanic that can be used in video games. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what his intent there was. But it's, it's neat to see those parallels, whether intentional or not. Okay, interesting. Nope, that, okay, that's fine. Um, I meant to just use the rock dog as uh, the, the thing that fired there. I think if I go down here, I'm immune to the rock dog's fire, right? So yeah, I don't have to worry about that rock dog. I do want to leave this rock dog behind and the bow behind, because uh, I have uh, Von Horsing rescued. And I do have the Kapala, so I could go for the infinite health trick. It might be worth it. I don't know for sure, actually. Well, we'll see. We'll see how worth it it is. Uh, okay, here we are. Nope. Uh, here in Vlad's, let's not upset any vampires until absolutely necessary, because I want them to stay alive, and if they're upset, they're probably not going to be alive. Um, can we just kill you, actually? I don't want you to be alive. Let's just go down here. Nope, I didn't I didn't want to whip you either. That upsets you. Okay, um... Okay, so we, uh, there's a vampire over there. Please don't break the ghost jar. Uh, nice. That's good. Okay, so we have one vampire up here. Uh, boop. Two vampires right here. Perfect. Perfect spacing if I do this right. All right, come on. No. Shit. Shit. Bad idea. Okay, let's just grab you. Thank you. Yes! Infinite health trick time. Awesome. I don't think I grabbed the crown, actually. I, it is important for me to go back and grab the crown, but let's grab as much health as we can first. Ah, I love the infinite health trick. This stuff is great. This is always fun. Always a ton of help and help. Ah. Uh, it's not a guarantee win, obviously, because there's so many ways that you can just die in one hit, like, even if you have 99 health. But it's a nice security blanket. I don't have to worry about getting touched by a bat or something like that as much, you know? So, this is nice. This is I'm very happy about this. And it looks like I should have, like, ample time afterward. Um, come on. I do want to throw a vampire at this hired hand at least once, just so that the hired hand dies and doesn't mess with me. But... Yeah, look at how much health I'm getting. This is this is a lot. This game this game gives you a lot of health. Like you you have ample opportunity here. I think it's the fastest time I've gotten it too, you know? Like don't think I've gotten to 99 before the 4 minute mark before and now I'm here it's not even 3 yet. So, I'll take it. There we go. I forgot to do the thing that I said I would do, so that's fine. Um here we go. Can we Yep, let's just leave actually. I don't need to be here. Uh fuck it. Fuck it. Actually, can I grab the the ghost jar? I would like some money. Money is good. Money is pretty fucking rad, in my opinion. Uh, granted, it is just my opinion. So if you don't like money, you can go ahead and give it to me. Uh, <laughs> you can join me, my channel membership. That's my heart. That's my saved one. I I didn't. Whew, I forgot that I I tamed one. Um. Okay, we'll go over here. Um. Boop. Just drop everything right here. Uh, I don't. I, I'm doing. I told you this. This hired hand was screw with me. Okay, thankfully the hired hand is now dead. Uh, okay, boop, boop, boop. We'll uh, use the ghost jar right here. Nice. Get the diamond. Just because money is good. I do in fact like money. Uh, I probably shouldn't have kept the rock dog. The rock dog might be an issue. Uh, but speaking of, uh, <laughs> I was talking about um, doing some Hollow Knight stuff earlier, and that was uh, okay. Boop. Boom. Yeah, I, I, there's a there's a Hollow Knight. I think, uh, what's his name? Zote? There's a Zote mech mod now to make Olmec into Zote. The almighty Zote from Hollow Knight. All right, boop. We'll do that. And then 
then this should be good placement for that. But then I also want to get the bow to where it's supposed to be. This is still like five bombs, but it's better than the six I've been using, and it's significantly more consistent. Like the bombs always are in the right place. I don't have to worry about that anymore. That's always good. Uh, boop, boop. Oh, I like the fairy. I like that. That's a cute addition there. I don't know what the fairy replaces. I don't think it replaces anything. Uh, I didn't know there was anything there. Hi, Zote. Come on. You're gonna you're gonna be the great mighty Zote for me. We just come up here. Let me let me grab the onk off you. Okay, this is the edge. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Easy. I usually have a good time. I'm usually ooh. Oh, it's a fairy jar. Okay, that's that's a cute addition. All right, so let's go down here, grab some more money. I know this is the boring part of the run, like just grabbing money in Olmec's lair, but you know things can still things can still go wrong. I could still fuck up like that. Uh, I lost one of my 99 points of health, so that's fine. See, so you got it back immediately. Um, but you know what? It it's it things can still hurt me here. I could still die in theory. Uh, I could at I could go to the bottom layer and go through one of these doors, which will instantly dump me in lava. I won't, cause I'm not fucking stupid. But I've done that once before. I was stupid, and now I'm not. Fun fact: That's how you become not stupid is by being stupid and then getting better. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, 50k. That should be a good amount of money for when we get to uh, Madam Tusk. Uh, I'm okay with that amount of money. Um. We, yeah, this is, I'm in a pretty solid position right now. As long as I don't get crushed or dumped into lava or fall into spikes or, uh, oh God, there's a lot of ways I could die still. Ugh, I don't want to think about that. I want to think about all the ways I could die. I want to think about all the ways I can live. Okay, let's come over here, Zote. Don't crush me. Yeah, you, get, you can crush, you get crushed by the side. I've done that before. Uh, is there anything else that I want here? Let's see up above. Nope, nothing above that I want. Kind of want to keep the rock dug. Kind of don't care. Uh, we'll do that. Nice. Okay, this should be a good position right here. Yeah, I've done this so many times that I I, I don't really care too much about this part of the, the Olmec fight, but you still can easily die here. Like, I've, I've just continued to press the wrong direction once, uh, twice, or... God, I think it's, like, happened in seven videos now. Um, like, it, it, it happens. It's, it's a common way for me to die. Um, I didn't need to collect that blood. I was already on 99 health. That's fine. Who needs anything anymore ever nothing is needed nothing is necessary other ways that I could die I could get soft locked I could uh not soft locked I guess stun locked is a better way to phrase it uh I could get crushed by or like eaten by the clam there um there, there's a ton of ways that everything can go wrong so uh let's hope that nothing goes wrong uh I also realize now that I am on the wrong side of the way to go down so let's just uh go down here nice easy Ooh, I like the the triforce shards being the being the dice that's cute. I like that. Got a teleporter. I don't want the teleporter. I, I don't trust myself with the teleporter anymore. It's not a thing that I, I trust. That's okay. Boop. Boop. Okay. Oh, I... <sighs> Thankfully, I have 97 health. So, who cares if I take tiny points of damage? But I need to be careful. That's I think that's a web gun. I think the freeze gun was uh, gold, right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> you can see the web on it. Compass, yes, I will happily take a compass. Always take a compass. Boop, and last one, boomerang. Eh, it's not too fine. Uh, so nothing nothing too big of winnings here, but it was nice to actually, you know, get the Palace of Pleasure stuff. Because even though I've got 99 health now, that does not mean I still will when I get to Neo-Babylon. In fact, that doesn't guarantee I will get to Neo-Babylon. Also, this is, uh, this is... Because I wasn't able to save the the axolotl in the ice world of Jump Lunky, I made a big mistake in my recent Jump Lunky or my most recent Jump Lunky video because I've, I've I haven't done a recent one, just a most recent one, I suppose. Uh, but I need to I need to save the axolotls from now on. And I have a friend who's an axolotl. Uh, is that pictures met you? Don't want that. Never. My highness. Oh, because I have the crown. Ha ha ha. No. Sorry. That chest should not have done that. Uh, I, I will punish the chest quite thoroughly by throwing it somewhere. Uh, I don't need the clone gun. That's not for me. I know I know the tactic with it, but it just it becomes a complicated mess, in my humble opinion. Grab the Master Sword. Uh, it's no longer a Minecraft Diamond Sword. It is now the Master Sword. Uh, the exit is this way, so that's good to know. All right, the one tile. The one fucking tile that could have killed me there. I didn't even need to teleport. I could have just gone. And now I lost Excalibur. I lost the cape. Are you are you kidding me? Infinite health trick my ass. 
Ugh. So what, of all, I didn't even mention that as a way of me to die, because I didn't think I would have, okay, so thankfully Master Sword and Cape are still there. No, Master Sword is down here now, but that's fine. Come on, we can, we can deal with this. Fuck off, fishies. Actually, let's kill the fishies, because I want my health. I want my, did that not kill the fish? What the fuck? I know, I know it kills the fish. All right, one health, I guess. God damn it. I can't, I teleported to the wrong spot. That's it, that's all it was. Literally one tile to the left, one tile. I don't know what to say about that. I, I don't know what to say about that one. <sighs> Thank you all for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you all at a later video. Or stream. You should catch me on Twitch. I do stream every now and then. <laughs>